Do you remember? Until now we figured out how we create the energy and how we store it. Let us now discover everything how we transmit the energy. The gear train transmits the energy from the barrel to the escapement through a series of wheels. In this chapter I would like to show you what the wheels are and how they are used. A watch wheel consists of a steel part and a brass part, both of which are provided with teeth and are interlocked with each other. And this main plate here has been mills to receive the different wheels, like I will put on it now. One in the center, one just after, and the third one here. This is the gear train, composed by three wheels. Each pivot of the wheels will be inserted in small jewels. There is a functional reason for the jewels in a watch. Concretely, it is to reduce the friction between components and also to avoid wear off the components. In a watch movement, jewels are made of synthetic ruby. A simple manual winding movement has 15 to 17 jewels. Once we locked the wheels with a bridge, you can turn the first one slowly and you can see how the other one turns faster and faster. And consequently, I can use a different speed of rotation to display different information on the dial. As the hands and other indications are driven by wheels underneath the dial, different rotational speeds correspond to different indications. Second hand needs a rotation per minute, a minute hand needs a rotation per hour, the hour hand one rotation every 12 hours, a GMT hand one rotation every 24 hours, EMPM indicator needs one rotation every 24 hours. Even the date, it needs a rotation every 24 hours. That was it about the transmission, but stay connected. There is much more to talk about the escapement in the next chapter.